Hello. Greetings. Hello. What's up? What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking with Ian, who works for OPT Telescopes. Did I say that right? You got it. Okay. <laughs> and we are currently at the OPT Remote Observatories here in Landers. Can I say where we are? Of course. Yeah, so that's where we are right now. The observatories are behind us, and there's a lot of people that are imaging, and there's a ton of telescopes. Pretty cool. Introduce yourself. So, as Lantern just said, I'm Ian. I'm the director of marketing for OPT. Uh, we do a lot of fun stuff, of course, with telescopes, observatories. We do live streaming uh, with Dustin, the owner and CEO of OPT. Uh, we do tons of outreach. One of my favorite things to do is uh, astronomy outreach, sidewalk astronomy, just getting people into astronomy, teaching them. I've done observatory tours. And probably one of my favorite things about astronomy is doing the public outreach, the sidewalk astronomy, and getting people's reactions when they first see the moon. Yeah. Because it's like, it's the people have never seen the moon before and they get that reaction. They, they look at it. A lot of people don't believe it's real, but they always say, oh my God. Or if I could swear, holy <laughs> <laughs> like that's always the reaction and i love it it's like it's rewarding every single time because you're opening their eyes to a whole new yeah new universe yeah i mean the first time i ever saw the moon super up close was at opt boom i know boom. So. opt wait do you also do the sidewalk sidewalk strong yeah okay do you do that at wavelength Is i that... do i okay. do run the scope of wavelength a lot of the time too which i love wavelength brewing company mm -hmm. uh shameless plug i don't work there so don't worry about it no, totally go because it's amazing <laughs> Wavelength Brewing Company, it's in Vista, California. They are a science themed brewery. So instead of showing sports and football, basketball, anything like that, they show rocket launches. They show the ISS live feed. They show like cool uh, chemistry experiments. They do uh, science talks every Friday night. And then of course we bring out the big Dobsonian telescope. So you have beer, you have telescope, you got space, you got views of the moon, like nothing better than yeah, that. There's Love nothing it. better. That's Love how it. all bars should be. Well, dude, Forget about sports. Dude. Everyone should just be going and bonding over space. You got it like what that's the thing that connects us all and people oh, yeah. just like don't talk about it enough or bond over it enough why is that not a topic people talk about more that's true well like one of the things i remember saying to myself when i was in college like one of my dreams is to walk into just any random bar and hear people talking about spacex yeah. rocket launches or nasa the planets or like new black hole discoveries new scientific discoveries yeah. you know anything in like science and stuff like that it was super cool mm -hmm. if that was happening so uh wavelength definitely is the catalyst for a lot of that especially in san diego yeah hopefully there's going to be more places like that soon especially in the los angeles area because i think it would attract so many people and just start a great conversation that needs to be had oh yeah and then what's your favorite object to shoot in the sky i love love wide field milky way stuff one of my favorite objects to shoot is probably got to be love the mission nebula so like the eagle nebula Ooh. lagoon and trifid nebula are super Ooh. fun to shoot um and then man those really really obscure galaxies are really cool um and one of the people who turned me on to those like crazy obscure galaxies uh, and their instagram handle is the vast reaches he shoots a lot of these obscure galaxies really 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 cool shots that like you know not even hubble you know shoots that stuff or if they do yeah. it's like most people don't know about them what are you shooting on uh actually i use a fuji xt1 for a lot of my um just landscape Milky Way photography mm -hmm. uh, and for some um, deep space photography. I got a, a T adapter so I can attach this camera to a telescope mm -hmm. uh, and then, you know, take some deep sky shots of like the Lagoon Nebula, yeah. a lot of the wide field emission and reflection nebula. And then I also have an X-T20 and I use that for um, Milky Way time lapse shots. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have a Rhino Arc 2 slider rail so I can do, you know, just dynamic time lapses of the Milky Way moving across. So out here tonight, what I'm trying mm -hmm. to do is, uh, uh, have the Joshua trees lined up and then get the, the slider rail moving while the Milky Way is moving so you get a really cool effect. We're going to set it up around 9 o'clock because the Milky Way is just going to start rising. I always <laughs> wondered how people did that, so that's how it's done. Love it. Well, thanks so much for chatting with me. And what's your Instagram? So my Instagram is Ian Lauer Astro. You can find me on there uh, or, you know, I'm on the Twitch stream, uh, twitch.tv slash Gibson Picks. But it's going to be changing to the clear sky. Just twitch.tv slash clear skies network. Yeah, I'll oh. link everything below because I know things are, the links are going to change within the next few weeks or so. Soon. <laughs> so you can find all of his information below and where to find his astrophotography as well.
Hello. 